Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim, La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. No respect to salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect scattered across the four winds of this earth. It's your fellow servant Malachiah coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay camp. And I'm coming into a lesson, you know, just out here, uh, I'm on the beach, you know, just out here, you know, meditating, you know, just looking at the waves and, you know, waiting for the Lord to give me the spirit to do a lesson. And a lesson just hit me when it came down to uh, <clears throat> how I'm looking at the waves in the sea. All right. You can see how the, uh, uh, the wind is blowing. All right. The water is just jumping from just jumping over each other, just clapping each other. It's roaring. All right, you may hear it in the background, but when you look, it's likening to this truth at the same time. All right, so when uh, uh, Esau come in like that flood, this is when we're gonna see that great uh, 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 flood getting ready to come upon those, all right, who fear the Lord. All right, we're gonna get that scripture later on, but uh, getting, getting back to the subject matter of, of the waves roaring. All right, if you don't have the... Uh, how can I say? If you don't have the uh, uh, spirit, if you don't got the faith to endure until the end, this, these waves is going to take you up and take you back there with them. All right. So let's go ahead and get into uh, a couple of these scriptures. Uh, it's the book of Matthew, chapter seven. And I can start at um, verse 24, Matthew seven and verse 24. It says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. All right. So the wise men will be the men of the Lord, the ones who had took heed unto the uh, uh, unto the prophets. All right. The ones that have been called and took this serious. All right. The ones that uh, um, uh, 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 that they're doing their due diligence. All right. These are the men of the Lord, the ones that fear. All right. The ones that hear these words and they actually do them. All right. The Lord says he will liken them unto a wise man. All right. Somebody that's wise, someone that's prudent. All right. The scripture says a prudent man sees uh, 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 evil and hideth, and hideth himself. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. But it reads on when it says which built his house upon a rock. All right. So what's that rock? It's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. When you sit upon that rock. All right, which is the word when you're going through these scriptures and everything. This is the Lord. All right. He's putting you on solid foundation. All right. That rock to where when that water comes, when that flood comes, such as Esau, Edom, when he comes, you're going to have the, uh, uh, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. As you read in the book of uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. All right. This is the Lord. He's our salvation. All right. He's our rock. He's the one that's going to get us through the end. All right. Which when you believe on him, you got what? You got the faith. Just like the, uh, the brother, the elder. All right. North Carolina. He said you got it. It's going to take big faith in these last days. All right. In order for you to endure into the end. All right. The Lord going to have to have a heavy spirit upon you in these end times. All right. So it reads on uh, verse 25. Matthew chapter 7, verse 25. And the rain descended, so like it, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. All right, so now what's that house? That's the, uh, that's the house, the house of David. All right, the tabernacle of David, the 144,000. All right, so when you see that, all right, these men, this is going to be the time of, of and you're reading the, uh, the book of Ezekiel 37. All right. The raising of the uh, the valley of the dry bones. Those are bones that are living. The ones that are waking up. All right. To this truth. All right. These are the ones. All right. Who have heard. All right. These are the ones that see the winds blowing. All right. They see the floods came. All right. They see it. But they was found. They was founded upon that rock, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. They didn't come up no other way. It reads on. It says. Uh, let's read that top again. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. All right. Which is what? House of David. Like I just said. 
as you read in the book of second Ezra, chapter 16 all right great insurrection came upon those who fear the lord it's only going to be the house of david all right the ones who fear the lord all right it's going to be those men it ain't going to be these regular uh men out here from these different uh uh nations out here like esau Elam, none of them not going to believe on this word all right they don't believe on uh 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 uh, uh, uh king david they, they didn't they don't they didn't come from the seed all right they didn't come from the Salaka. They didn't come from the seed uh, 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 of, of Israel. All right. So therefore, this word is not given unto them. This knowledge is not given unto them. All right. This is why they're going to be uh, coming in like a flood. Esau, Edom, and the rest of these other nations. They're going to be coming towards the men of the Lord. Why? Because we have the truth. All right. So it reads on. And the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not. For it was founded upon a rock all right it was founded upon the rock those men were solid all right and that's what's going to have uh, uh, these men enduring to the end all right the hundred and forty four thousand all right the ones who believed on, on, on those men that was sighing and crying the ones that believed on the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai all right verse 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand all right so right now i'm sitting upon the sand and i'm looking at the waves roaring going back in two and four all right but let's say a, a big surge happened to that water and they just come upon the land it's going to take me up all right from off this sand and it's going to take me right along with the current all right that's likened unto a foolish man all right a man who didn't uh, uh take heed to the prophecies all right he's seen the videos and probably scoffed at him he didn't take it serious even if he came if it, uh, even if he was in the truth and didn't uh take it serious all right he could have probably been in the camp or you know in anything but he didn't take it serious all right that's the lord calling this man uh, 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 he's liking him unto a foolish man all right so when the waves come when esau come in like a flood this is when you're going to see them waves uh roaring to and fro is going to pick that person up that man in his house and take him right along with the current to where he's trampled over by the waters of the sea and the wind that was blowing all right verse 27 and the rain descended and the floods came he saw edom and the winds blew and beat upon that house that man and his whole house because he believeth not he lacked faith and it says and it fell and great was the fall of it Great was the fall of that man. All right? That's when he's going to be sighing and crying and gnashing of the teeth because he knew he had the word. It was right there with him the whole time. He hearing the videos. Or, or, or he was scoffing or he just didn't take it as serious as, as, as he needed. All right? This is the Lord saying, hey, that's the foolish man. Take him up, root him up out, and take him back into the current. Let Esau eat him, trample over him in his whole household. Let his wife get raped. All right, let his children get raped and get slammed into the ground, dashed into pieces. All right, that's the Lord going to liken that man into a foolish man because he did not be wise like his brethren. All right, so when you come into this truth, you got to take it seriously. All right, speaking to myself first and foremost. All right, as we see the prophecies happening more and more. All right, you see, uh, 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 you, you get more wisdom, more uh, 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 discernment. All right, it's time to more uh, be more diligent. All right, this is the Lord saying that, hey, this is the time, like, he about to send that flood getting ready to come. All right? And, you know, it, it's spiritual. You know, I'm out here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the ways, and this is just the, the lesson that just came up. All right, even though I only had maybe a couple of scriptures, but it's letting you know that this is the Spirit speaking, letting brothers know, like, hey, the time is near. The time is getting near. All right? We see the prophecies happening closer and closer. All right, Habakkuk 2, let's get that. Before we close out on that all right uh the prophecies they're getting closer and closer habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shai answer me and said write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it all right so that's that wise man all right he read it he heard it all right so now when he get the understanding He's asking and praying and fasting and getting more understanding, more revelations. This is the Lord saying this man is going to be a wise man. All right. 
that 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 he's gonna run and he's gonna take it with them and he's gonna he, he's gonna build up his uh, 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 faith off that. It reads on, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his oh Salakia, verse three again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right, so the prophecies, they're not lying right now. We can see it. They're not tearing anymore. You can see them. All right, they're getting closer and closer. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So when it gets to that point where it's not tearing, it's when you're going to know we in the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of the RFID chip, these vaccines, all hey, everything getting ready to happen. And we see it right now with these wildfires. All right. Earthquakes. All right. I just seen a video earlier with uh, uh, it's, it's claimed to be. It, I mean, it, hey, it could be Leviathan out there in the glaciers. He's waking up. It's the Lord saying he getting ready to wake everything up right now. He getting ready to bring judgment and hell upon this earth. All right. So don't be liking unto that foolish man that's out here. All right. Be wise. Be circumspect. All right. For the devil is getting ready to come with great wrath. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. This is your uh, brother Malachi. Shalom.